over the hills and far, far away. That's the place where I want to stay. But heck, there's a problem. They don't have 4G. Use the long ranger and great speech you will see. Today I want to introduce you to the uh, Bolton Long Ranger antenna. This video is all about the antenna specifically. The unboxing of the antenna is already on, online in YouTube by um, the guys in, in the US um, Bolton Technical themselves. So the other thing is also that of course I, I don't just want to present an antenna, I also want to show how it actually works. But the problem there is that um, currently the um, weather forecast and the current weather situation in Adelaide is not quite constructive for field testing. So um, obviously we'd rather be sitting in front of a fireplace with a bit of red wine. But um, for today I just want to show you the antenna itself. But before we get into that, please stay connected to RF Shop clicking that bell and um, subscribing. Um, if you have any questions, if you have any comments about our channel, what we do, please let us know and we'll, um, we'll address those and we might actually use that in future videos as well. But let's get into it. So the antenna itself comes in what we would say a flat pack. So you have to uh, assemble it yourself, which is part of the instructions that the, um, the guys in, the, in Texas have shown as well. Um, but you get this um, piece of paper with it, which is all the components in there. So if you look at the back, it tells you all the bits and pieces in this. It's like going to IKEA basically. So you have the two parts of it, the um, two elements of the grid. You have the, um, you would call it a paddle, but basically it's the feed feed section of the antenna, that, um, that section there. Um, plus at the back, I'll just turn this around, you'll see there's also the, um, the bracket. So you, you got the um, L bracket as well as two U bolts. The um, U bolts would be there to um, you know, just mount it to any pole. Um, there's also coming out with an end type connector and included in the box itself is also a right angle end type connector. So you're ready to connect to any cable that has an end connector on there and it already hangs down so there's no stress on the connect or the cable itself which pretty much makes perfect sense. So from that perspective, took me first time about I guess 10 minutes to build it. Just because um, you know, the mechanics in the middle and you need, you need to um, you know, just take some care but one build and then it's, it's up. Um, the specs itself, let me just see what I wanted to say. Yeah, the specification itself for this antenna, obviously it's, it's awesome. Uh, com compares really well with all the other options that currently is available. If you look at a lock periodic dipole array, LPDA or a Yagi antenna, the advantage of this one is the gain is higher. Um, the advantage over a Yagi antenna, for instance, this is white band. So this antenna can do 600 megahertz up to 6.5 gigahertz, um, according to this data sheet, the specification. That's obviously the um, kind of fun that we're going to have outside and, and just test that and see how it goes. Um, but fundamentally, it is ready for any wireless application that we can think of. So it's 5G ready. It does Wi-Fi frequencies, both the low and the high end, uh, 2.4 or 5.8. Um, but for us, the most important part is it does band 28 to 700 meg really well. Um, they say on the spec sheet anything between 8 to 15, 15 dBi in that band. Um, we're going to test that. We're going to see what we get. Um, and specifically for us, the initial kit for this product is to have it with cable. So we'll have some cable. But remember, always RF Shop does custom actual cable. So even if our kit is going to tell you 10 meters of cable, which it will, um, you could still contact us and say, my specific application is a shorter cable or a longer cable. Remember that it's always better to go for the shortest possible cable that you need for your application. So that's just one, one thing that you could do. But um, the kit would be with an antenna, um, then the cable that you need to connect directly to your cell phone. Um, we'll go for the cell phone stationary in this case. That gives you the correct power supply. Uh, then there's also the internal cable. Again, you can choose the cable length, but we'll probably standardize with five meter cable to just give you a box that you say, well, if you don't really know and you just want to get started, there's a 10 meter for outdoor and five meter for indoors, plus a nice wall mount panel antenna. Although I'm also going to spend some time looking at indoor omni antenna, so kind of dome antennas you can put on the ceiling, specifically thinking about the um, puck antennas from pointing antennas, because that's, um, that's nice. It's a nice, elegant little, little disc that, that's subtle, but it's a very, effective antenna. Also, future-proofing you for 5G, that's just as this one would as well. So the combination of those two antennas would um, give you a solution for the short term, but it also keeps you ready for whatever comes later on. Uh, anything else I wanted to say on this antenna? Let's have a look. So yeah, I talked about the kits. Uh, da -da 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 -da. It's all good. So that's really it for now. I'm really looking forward to get outdoors and get testing. As you can see, the thing is with the grid here, the, um, the weather today would have been actually awesome to prove the concept that this can um, 
uh, will survive or at least stand, stand stable on, on high wind conditions because it's, it's quite a big crit, which could be a bit of a challenge on the higher frequencies, but definitely in band 28, that's, um, that's going to be an awesome antenna to use. I think that's it for today. I, I look forward to get out there, have some, have some tests done and, and play with this antenna. So when the weather's better, rapid bay, there we come. And in summertime, when um, you know, we're going for our diving expeditions again, you'll see us going to rapid bay a few times with this antenna, as well as um, different setups with the antenna. I might even try to get it working on a Teltonic router. Let's see how it goes. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye-bye. Happiness.